Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Swati and you're watching Backyard Gardening. Today we'll talk about a gorgeous Japanese art in gardening. And I think you guessed it right. We'll talk about Kokedama today, how to make Kokedama. But before we start, let me give you a quick idea about what is Kokedama. So Kokedama is made up of two words, Koke and Dama. So Koke means moss and Dama means ball. As I said earlier, it's a Japanese art. So in ancient times, it started with bonsai plants and they used to put moss and soil together and they used to grow plants like this. But surprisingly, in Japan, Kokedama is called as poor man's bonsai. Why? <laughs> because bonsais were always expensive. All right, so let's check out how to make a Kokedama, what all plants you can choose and how to care for them. Let's get started. So let's check out the list of plants that you can use for making kokedamas. You can take any variety of ferns. You can choose any variety of snake plants. However, I would suggest you taking the dwarf size ones. And the spider plants will make a stunning option for making kokedamas. However, choosing a variety of syngoniums will also make a good option. And you can never go wrong with any hanging basket plant such as pothos. Now let's check out what all we need apart from plants. We will need a binding media. We would need 50% garden soil and 50% compost. We'll mix it well for making mud ball. And apart from this, we would need moss. This is a sphagnum moss. This will help the kokedama retain moisture for longer. And you can buy it online. It's easily available. I'll share the link. Now coming to the last thing which is very important we need something to bind the moss on top of that mud ball. So here I am taking these colorful ropes. You can use anything such as wires, jute, thread, anything which can help binding the moss with the clay ball. So the first step is to soak sphagnum moss in water for about 15 to 20 minutes so that it becomes soft and becomes easy to layer up on top of mud ball. And now we'll prepare the clay ball. We'll mix soil and compost thoroughly and we'll keep on adding some water into it and we'll prepare a soft dough so that it becomes easy to form a ball out of it. Something like this. Now it's ready. We'll keep it aside and we'll take out the moss from water. We'll spread it on a sheet. You can use any plastic sheet to spread wet moss on it. Take out the moss from water, squeeze it properly and then spread it on the sheet. Something like this. And now it's time to get the plant for making kokedama. So here I am choosing this variety of syngonium. It's in a 4 inch pot. Now all you need to do is take out the plant from the pot gently without damaging its roots. Then loosen its roots by removing some amount of soil. But make sure you don't damage its roots. And it's ready for planting. Now let's keep it aside and make a big size clay ball or the mud ball. We need to make the ball as per the size of the plant. Now the clay ball is ready. Just divide it into two and keep the plant's root ball at the center. And keep on adding more soil to the ball if needed so that no roots are visible from outside. Make sure all the roots are intact and covered in soil. So this is ready and now we will cover it with moss. Keep it at the center of the moss that we spread earlier and keep on covering it from all the sides. Now once it's done, we'll tie it with thread, something like this. Secure it properly from all the sides and if you wish to hang it under a tree, you can put two long strings near the stem. And there you go. Your kokedama is ready. Now let's check out how to water them. Watering a kokedama is really easy. You can do it one to two times in a week based on the temperature or the weather conditions of your place. All you need to do is fill a bucket with water and 
put the kokedama into it let it soak in for about 10 to 15 minutes and then take it out let the excess water drain off and it's ready to decorate back to its place you can decorate it on your study table on your office desk or even on center table keep it on any glass bowl or any saucer or plate to avoid mess on the table now coming to the creativity part it's up to you how you want to decorate it like here i'm just putting a small butterfly on top of this to make it look cuter So how was it guys I hope you enjoyed the video do make a kokedama something like this and decorate it on your study table in office desk in your balcony or in garden do let me know if you like the video through comments and I will come up soon with one more interesting video see you